As the authorities announced the bomb vest the kidnappers forced the Colombian girlfriend to wear was a fake. The British millionaire who was abducted in Ecuador is seen in Lake Como with her last year. The romantic partner, Catherine Paolo Santos, and former honorary British consul Colin Armstrong OB, were abducted a week ago by a group of 15 guys wearing full police uniforms. The 78-year-old has since been freed without incident, although it is reported that Ms. Santos was questioned by authorities over her possible role in the millionaire's abduction. Mr. Armstrong and Ms. Santos are shown in July of last year at the opulent, historical and romantic villa dust near Lake Como, Italy. Mr. Armstrong is wearing black and white shorts in the pictures, and the two are seen grinning and giggling together. His gorgeous girlfriend can be seen sipping what appears to be a cocktail at the pool while sporting gold earrings and a purple bikini. The pair can be seen taking turns shooting pictures of one another, drying off with similar blue towels, and strolling hand in hand. The Villa d'Est is a five-star opulent hotel with a tennis court, pool, and famous Italian Renaissance gardens that looks out over Lake Como. A billionaire businessman, who was originally known as Our Man in Guayaquil, was abducted last Saturday along with Ms. Santos, a Colombian model and pole dancer, and forced into his own black BMW at gunpoint. A few hours later, Ms. Santos made a surprise appearance at a gated property that was thought to belong to Mr. Armstrong's son and she was carrying what she claimed to be a bomb vest that would detonate if the group responsible for Mr. Armstrong's kidnapping wasn't paid a ransom. However, it was eventually discovered to be a hoax when protective gear wearing bond disposal officers removed the vest. Three days after Ms. Santos was freed, on Tuesday night at around 11 p.m., Mr. Armstrong was discovered by police straying along a key road in the coastal province of Manabi, approximately 150 miles southwest of Quito's capital. Police in Ecuador have made nine arrests thus far and seized a significant amount of weapons, explosives, cocaine, and grenades. However, there are still unanswered concerns for the investigating police, such as whether or not the kidnappers of Mr. Armstrong received assistance from insiders. And just 18 months ago, Mr. Armstrong was publicly honoring his wife Cecilia, whom he married 49 years ago, at a function that hundreds of his workers attended. Who is the enigmatic Ms. Santos, who has been by his side in recent years? After Santos was publicly implicated in the crime by an ex-local MP, she is rumored to have been questioned by authorities regarding her possible role in the abduction scheme. Father of three after being photographed grinning for the camera while sporting a police-issue baseball cap and long-sleeved t-shirt, Mr. Armstrong is reportedly safe and healthy, which is amazing considering everything he has gone through in the last week. One of the accusations made by the police against those detained for his kidnapping is extorting. Police sources said that evidence seized this week during raids indicates that the kidnapping that occurred last weekend was painstakingly prepared. Early on Saturday morning, gang members came to Rodeo Grande, where the Armstrong family motto, Trans Mare Video, translates to I see beyond the sea, hanging next to the gate. They made their way to the room where Mr. Colin, as he is referred to by his staff, was sleeping, beating any staff members who attempted to stop them. Blood stains on sheets and on the floor of one room were captured on a brief video that an employee had recorded following the raid. Along with Ms. Santos, Mr. Armstrong was coerced into his own black BMW, which has diplomatic license plates, at gunpoint. The automobile was later discovered abandoned by police after they turned on satellite monitoring. The kidnapping became widely publicized in Ecuadorian media within hours, and other photos from Ms. Santos' social media profiles were shared as well, implying a deep bond between the two. And in one, they seem to be traveling to Egypt. In another, they are on safari in Africa. Photos of them in beachwear show a smiling, mustachioed Mr. Armstrong wrapping his arms around an obviously devoted Ms. Santos while wearing a Panama hat and shorts. He also has a striking resemblance to the British actor Terry Thomas. Additionally, video footage shows Mr. Armstrong and hundreds of other young ladies in skimpy attire on a luxurious yacht on what looks to be Ms. Santos' 30th birthday.
Ms. Santos, who is signed with Ecuadorian modeling agency Studio Moda, states on her LinkedIn page that she has been employed by Agripac since 2013. Models frequently dressed as cowgirls are used by the company, which offers anything from seeds to fertilizer to pet food for advertising purposes. Ms. Santos may be seen in photos shot at Rodeo Grande with Mr. Armstrong dating back to 2014. Given his prominence, it is conceivable that a significant portion of Ecuador's police resources were allocated to guaranteeing Mr. Armstrong's safe return this week. The Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office acknowledged having provided assistance to the Ecuadorian government as well. It's also alleged that British intelligence services supported the police operation. Nine persons have been arrested so far, eight Ecuadorians and one foreign nation. The existence of any ransom payment is unknown. However, given that the kidnapping has brought attention to the nation's worsening security state, police officials said they are still looking into this incredibly daring kidnapping plot and pursuing a number of leads. The police director of investigations, General Freddy Sarzo Seguera, stated, This is being investigated as a kidnap for money, and the motive was an economic one. The Armstrong family has requested privacy for the time being so they may process the tragic events of the previous week. Everyone in the UK, including family, employees and friends, is thrilled with the result and excited for a more joyous Christmas, stated Leo Morris, the director of Tup Gill Park Estate, where he was raised and is considered Mr. Armstrong's adopted son. After working for the British Chemical Corporation ICI as a young man and traveling the world, he established Agripac, an agricultural distribution company in Ecuador, where he has lived for the past 50 years. His remarkable life has been dotted over the years with more high drama events than most people would think to encounter in their professional lives. Over the past 50 years, Mr. Armstrong has undoubtedly experienced more than his share of hardships from violent storms and military takeovers to the death of one of his former supervisors who was shot and killed while attempting to repel armed bandits. In the heat of the Falklands War, only a year into his position as honorary consul, he had to repel pro-Argentine demonstrators who showed up at the British consulate in Guayaquil demanding the Union Jack to burn. In his consular capacity, Mr. Armstrong has entertained former Tory Minister John Gummer and former Tory MP David Meller, mangled with royalty like Princess Anne, and faced cattle rustlers and hired armed guards to patrol his ranch and sleep in the house when it was empty. This week, reports came out of Ecuador stating that Mr. Armstrong had been kidnapped for refusing to pay monthly protection. -y. Nick, the son of the consul, oversaw the British Ecuadorian Chamber of Industry and Business before taking over his father's position in 2016. In addition, he assists his father in running Agripac and serves as a director of the North Yorkshire-based Rip and Race Company.